funniest man I've ever met in my life. A warrior. An habitual liar. Young, he has a look. He was the chosen one. He's a man of God. He can talk a lot of shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Norman Bass claims to be the greatest athlete to ever live. He said that? No, he missed it by a mile. <laughs> Others who have accomplished similar feats have household names, while Norman remains virtually unknown. Norman Bass, no? Never heard of him. Who is he? A childhood illness robbed Norman of most of his hearing and nearly took his life. But Norman still went on to play for the Kansas City A's and the Denver Broncos, becoming the first African American since integration to play two major professional sports in the same year. Norm was a... Uh... A cocky fastball pitch. He likes to tackle. He loved to hit people. Bring the bone to you. He was Dion before Dion came along. He could do everything. Norm was a good storyteller. He could, and he would tell all his adventures. And all of a sudden, it hit me. I'm in the big leagues. My goal is reached. And I got so excited on the mound, I started yelling, Vallejo, <laughs> Vallejo. And I started thinking, everybody in Vallejo who had a part in my life, Pluto's hot dogs, eat and run hamburger, when he, you know, he would share with people everywhere where he went, who he met, some celebrity. I ducked into this jazz club. And while I was in there, that's where Aretha Franklin was appearing there. And they were so excited when I walked into the club, they put this great big spotlight on me as I came in the door. And I couldn't see, and they were screaming and yelling about the game. And Aretha was jumping up and down on the piano. And she said, this is my man. I'm going to dedicate this whole night to him. And she sung all these songs to me. The, the best one that I think that I've heard from Norm is that one of the uh, Aretha Franklin songs is about him, written to him. He had it all, women, fame, success. Norman was looking forward to a career of almost limitless possibilities. That was before his body began to fall apart. His fingers started getting deformed, arms started getting a little shorter, and I started noticing a lot of funny looking things. Then at age 25, Norman couldn't hold a fork or dress himself any longer. Severe rheumatoid arthritis, can, can bring somebody to a state of permanent total disability in a matter of months. It, it was almost like overnight I was crippled. And all the things that I had as my God was baseball and sports. And, and when that disappeared, I was broken. He was so pitiful. It was just heartbreaking. Oh, he was just a basket case there for a while. I highly mad at God. Why would God do that to me? I'm taking it out on him. Pain was so strong that putting on socks all little simple things became a chore. When I first heard it, I thought he could overcome it. And then he babied it. I know I was sitting in the bathtub one day taking a shower, and I let all the water out too soon, and I didn't have the strength to raise up or to get up out of the bathtub, and I had to sit there two to three hours till someone came to help me up out of the tub. He was in tremendous pain and never really let us let on. And I became a, a bad father, a bad husband, the whole shot. Well, yeah, he was very, very physical, and it went beyond, you know, spankings. I remember my dad came storming out of the bedroom, and um, he grabbed my brother, and um, he threw him against the pool table, and it hit him. His back hit the pool table, and he just fell like a rag doll. Well, this is the way it is somewhat when you have sin, and you've got to come back to the Father to ask for forgiveness. I had no idea what church was. Went down there and I started going down there and I started uh, learning things and things I didn't know. God was bringing me through all of this to show me what he was trying to tell me way back. Norman's spiritual life was on the mend and he began teaching Bible study at his house twice a week. But he still had a need for the type of competition he had faced in professional sports and he found a solution in table tennis. Ping pong is what everybody knows the game as, ping pong. I've always played ping pong, but I never really got into serious table tennis until actually in the late 70s. But because of my arthritic condition, that was about the only game I could figure out that I could really play. And when I saw that I could hit the ball over the table, over the net with a paddle, that gave me a new, brand new lease on life. And so then after a while, I started playing and I got interested in playing in tournaments, and that's how it all started. 36 years after his retirement from professional sports, Norman won a bronze medal at the 2000 Paralympics in Sydney. Joshua Bartel and Norman Bass. 
They had a whole bunch of elementary school kids there on a field trip. They got to the door and looked back at me and said, USA, USA. So funny. They got arms cut off, both arms. Paddles strapped to their arm, beat you to death. I'll never again complain about my arthritis when I saw this, saw some of this stuff. I've never heard not one guy that was disabled, worse than I was, say anything about I wish I had, wish I wasn't in this wheelchair, or I wish I had another arm. Never heard none of them say those things. In July of 2005, at age 66, Norman won gold and bronze medals at the Para Pan Am Table Tennis Championships held in Argentina. Most of the athletes are less than half his age. Right now, I know exactly who I'm supposed to be. I want, to be, I want, I want somebody to see what I'm doing. You just watch. The best example is, is, is to show, not talk. And salvation is an inward work, not outward, right? It's inward. The beauty that the Lord talks about is not outward, is it? God says, no, that's not the beauty I'm talking about. It's the beauty inside the heart. It's the heart. This is the story of Norman's life up until now. Is he the greatest athlete to have ever lived or just another great storyteller? Either way, Norman's belief in himself never wavers. Despite all obstacles and doubters, Norman continues to train six days a week for a chance to win a gold medal at the 2008 Paralympics in Beijing. Yeah, that's one of my next goals. I'm going to play in 2008. I'm going to do it again at 68. No, 69. I think I can do it.